every news agency, every newspaper, every digital online news product needs people who can tell stories through data, writing, and video. We're hoping that students in our program will learn multimedia skills, will learn how to be excellent storytellers, and will learn how to use data both to find the story and to convey it more easily to a reader or viewer. Any branch of a newsroom needs people who understand and can use data and, and do things innovative with it. Having a sense of how to analyze data will put you ahead in the pack of people looking for jobs as reporters, as producers, as graphic designers, uh, even as photographers. What we really try to do is, is marry the data journalism and the story structure and the narrative flow together so that you're telling a story visually, you're telling a story through the data visualization, and you're telling a story in a narrative arc. And you're trying to do that in an integrated way. Data is another source. Um, and just like human sources, we need to know how to go about finding data sources, um, understanding them in their real world context, and how to use them so that we can tell accurate and balanced stories. There's an increasing number of jobs in the industry related to data journalism, um, and I think that speaks to the fact that more and more data sources are becoming available, just more public information is becoming available in the form of data. Um, so even if you don't choose to specialize in data journalism, it's a pretty essential skill these days for any reporter working any beat because they're going to encounter scenarios where having data will help them tell a better story or even get a story they couldn't otherwise have gotten. Having that fundamental sense of story and how do I get there, how do I take the people with me in that experience. I can't think of being a journalist without wanting to tell stories with multimedia because there's so many tools but figuring out what's the best way to tell a story. What's the best tool in service of the story I'm telling? So I learned how using HTML to build a web page from scratch or using Python to be able to scrape internet sites and be able to tweet something from a Twitter bot. Being able to combine spreadsheets in ways that let me find a story within numbers and how numbers interacted, whether it's from local government budgets or being able to construct a map. We were given so many tools and we learned so much software that helped us augment our stories and allowed our storytelling to be even more powerful. It gives you more opportunities to come up with your own ideas for news and, and really tie it to other things that are going on in the community that you're trying to cover. I think my favorite part of the program was getting to work so closely with the faculty here. We really get to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the professors and pick their brains and work with them closely on our stories. The classes are, are they're kept small purposefully so that, so that there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction. I spent a lot of time doing just individual edits or, or troubleshooting of stories with the students. Another reason to come to Stanford is that we're in the heart of Silicon Valley. This is the place that everybody wants to come, that, that, that is changing the way we live, not only in the United States, but globally, because of the technology companies that are here. You do not need to be a techie if you're coming to this program. You need to be willing to learn. You need to be uh, curious and uh, interested in finding answers to questions. I think as long as I'm telling a story, that's where I want my career to be. And I think there's so many different outlets for that now, and I think Stanford has given me so many tools to pursue those outlets. There are so many great stories out there just waiting to be told. And the best thing about data journalism is that you're gonna be able to tell stories you would not otherwise be able to tell.